Hey everybody, it's Sheila back with another tutorial. This is a simple one on how to make a fun planter that you can put anything you want to in. I've already mixed up some resin, but I'm going to give it a final stir here. Today we're using a deep pour resin by Nick Pro. It's a one to one ratio and I'm going to add a little bit of glitter here. This is actually a, a diamond dust and you can use any brand of your choosing. And I'm just going to pour some in here. I tend to like sparkly, so I may have added more than you would, but it's personal preference and you'll learn as you go along what is enough and what is not enough. So I'm just going to give this a stir here, making sure I'm mixing all of this in very thoroughly. If you're not a beginner, you may want to fast forward through this part. If you're a beginner, you can sit back and watch. I'll try to keep my hands out of the way as much as I can. When you bring the camera in close, sometimes it's hard to, uh, to keep your hands out of the way and stir. So all I'm doing is stirring 360 degrees. I'm trying to keep my stir stick in the resin as much as possible to avoid adding extra bubbles. And I'm going slowly in one direction. Next, I'm going to add a um, copper metallic um, paste by Baltic Day. And this is my first time using this, so I'm going to put a little bit on the end of my stir stick here. This is my giant toothpick, but I do believe this is used in nail salons when we're working on cuticles. I'm just going to give this a good little stir, trying not to get too crazy and add too many bubbles. And then I'm going to add a little bit of ocean white pigment paste. And the reason I'm doing that is because I want to add a little bit of opaqueness to it. I can see by looking at it that the metallic copper may be a little bit too translucent. So I'm going to add a little bit of that ocean white, and then we're going to go ahead with a bronze mica powder from Let's Resin. This is a really rich color. I love it. So I wanted to include that in this, um, in this planter. And I'm just going to tap out a little bit at a time. You can always add more if the color isn't as rich enough or as dark enough as you want it to be. And again, mica powders give it a pearlescent look to it, so it'll really have this nice, pearly, glittery, shiny appearance when we're finished, or that's the hope anyway. So I'm just going to mix all of this powder in. And try to get this as well mixed as I possibly can. i got to scrape the sides a little bit. And you've really got to go down into the bottom and make sure that you're getting anything that may have floated down or sunk down, I guess. I should say down to the bottom. So I'm just going to continue to give this a good stir. I really like this Deep Pour Resin by Nick Pro. It doesn't have a lot of bubbles. It's crystal clear and really is easy to work with. It's a, a thinner resin as most deep pour resins are, and that is to help get the bubbles out from the deeper portions of the um, mold you're working with. I am going to add a little bit more of the bronze mica powder, as I really would like this to be a little bit richer in color. Not quite dark enough for me just yet. And again, this is personal preference. And as you go, you will learn. You'll learn your micas, you'll learn your colors. Sometimes if it gets too too dark, you can always add more, um, you can add more resin to it. This has a little bit of an orangey look to it. We'll see what happens as I continue to mix it. I really want it to be a little bit more coppery and darker. So let's go ahead and pour this in the mold. This is a very deep mold, which is why I used the Nick Pro Deep Pour Resin. If you use a 
one-to-one -one ratio um, type resin, it will get too hot and it will probably flash cure and not come out very good. So whenever you're working with deeper molds, you're better off to use the deep pour resin. In fact, you're not just better off, you, you definitely need to do that. So um, I love Nick Pro. It's a, it's a really nice resin, as I said previously, to work with. Again, thin, very low odor, BPA free, all of those good things. So let's get this filled to the top here. I think we're good. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a little bit of a swirl here and get all these colors mixed up. Got a little air bubble here down on the bottom here that I'll have to work out. So you can see these colors are really blending nicely. And that bubble's gonna give me a problem, but we'll keep working at it. So let's go ahead and fast forward here. Okay, this is cleaned up. Let's go ahead and hit it with the torch a little bit. Get any remaining bubbles out. And once we're done here, we'll let this set for a good 24 hours. Just want to make sure I'm getting these last bubbles out. And I'll see you back. All right, it's been 24 hours. And I'm going through this very quickly in a fast forward because I actually cut my thumb. And demolding this is a little bit of a challenge. So, all right, this is what it looks like out of the planter or out of the mold. Came out pretty close to the colors I wanted. Very pretty and shiny. And normally what I would do is after I let this set for a while, I would go ahead and I would use some Shine and Protect. Um, this is a product I use by um, Novus. So it helps uh, give everything a nice shiny sealed look. And then I'm just gonna take some sand and fill this with sand. You could use dirt and make a little planter out of it in that regard. And I'm going to go ahead and just put in some, some greens. Sun Coast by Sheila, so guess what we'll be having? It will have a beach theme with seashells. I'm just going to drop all of these in here. And of course, how you do this is completely up to you. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. Just get all these in here. This is the creative fun part. And just a couple more shells. Love to know what you guys do. Please drop me some comments, show me pictures. I want to see your work. Whether you're a beginner or you're a pro. And there we have the, the finished product. So there you have it for today. Appreciate you all joining me once again. I always appreciate your comments and feedback, as I said earlier. Um, and certainly those thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. So have a great day, everybody, and I hope to see you back again soon. Be safe. Take care.